Welcome to Digital Asset News. I get top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. This morning, got a real quick article to talk about, and this is what I believe is going to happen. Band or band protocol is going to massively increase its position because of who it just partnered with. And I will get to all that in a second. But first, I want to say congratulations. We made it to the 12 days of Christmas. So uh, we're going to be doing a quick giveaway. And just so you know, it's going to be for today, the Shield Folio or Stone Book. And real quick, if you're not familiar with it, uh, this is why I like the Stone Book. It's because I've got a couple myself. And uh, I don't like having pieces of paper and things just kind of laying around. I like everything in one book, especially one that is uh, water resistant, smudge resistant. And you can uh, put all your passcodes, your mnemonic phrase and everything else. Also, it's got a nice little cool little James Bond pen you can write in and make it invisible so it's just nice to have around and uh, everything is in one place I actually have two uh, one is at the house and then one is in a in my um, bank uh, my safety deposit box with all the different uh, mnemonic phrases so we're going to be giving away four shield folios we're going to give away two on this video and we're doing a, a video later which uh, we'll give away another two so in the comment section all you have to say is shield folio that's it that's all you got to say shield folio folio don't i want shield folio or give me a shield folio just put shield folio s-h-i-e-l-d f-o-l-i-o all right let's get into uh this real quick story so band protocol if you're not familiar it's kind of it's a it's an oracle such as uh chain link and i really didn't pay too much attention to it because uh you know i was <laughs> i got my positions in a lot of different things and i kind of overlook projects as there's, there's only like a thousand out there but uh, this article made me take uh, sit up and take notice. This is from Trade the Chain, my, my man Alex Maschioli. And when he puts something out, I usually pay attention. And uh, it states, short-term alley sentiment is on fire in reaction to the below news. And I'm like, hmm, what's going on? So this was interesting. Really quick snippet. Ban Protocol has become the first blockchain firm to join the OpenAPI initiative alongside big names such as Google, eBay, IBM, and Microsoft. Ban Protocol announced Monday. That's right now. Matter of fact, it was just announced uh, about an hour ago. Uh, it will help to create a common API standing enabling blockchain applications to easily leverage APIs and data. The potential benefits of the work are said to include new revenue streams for tech firms who can sell their data and price feeds to smart contracts. And I have to tell you right now, there is one thing that big businesses really like to do. Find out new revenue streams so they can push up their price of their stocks and make their stockholders extremely happy. And who would love to do that? Well, maybe Google, eBay, IBM, and Microsoft. Just guessing. This is what it states. Our mission is to define a common API standard for blockchain applications by collaborating with prestigious partners. Eh, did a pretty good job here. To bridge the gap between centralized data, APIs, and smart contracts on the blockchain, said Soravis Srinawakun, I think I said that right, CEO of Band Protocol. Opening API, a nonprofit foundation hosted by the Linux Foundation, confirmed to Coindesk that Band Protocol is indeed the first blockchain project to become a member. That's pretty big. And on top of that, I also had a nice little email this weekend. I didn't really think too much of it. It was from my favorite exchange, Coinbase. They said, hey, come over here and earn Band with Coinbase and that's where you go to uh, Coinbase and you watch some some little videos and they're very nice they're very very good very simple and it tells you exactly what band is I didn't do it because I, I got busy this weekend but I'm like eh, just kind of put it away in like the card of my mind I'm like who cares and of course that all makes sense now because in this game the big players know exactly what's going on before you do so I was like hmm, what's going on here now just so you know um, Band is already on Coinbase Pro, so I wouldn't be surprised if it comes over to uh, Coinbase Regular, I guess you'd call it. So I'm like, hmm. So uh, when you take a look over here at uh, CoinGecko, it'll tell you all the different uh, exchanges that um, uh, Band is on. So I'm like, oh, it sucks on Coinbase Pro. I don't want to deal with that or Binance. I can't have access. But you know where else it is? It's on Voyager. And for some reason, it's not listed here. So if you have a Voyager account, why don't you just go over there and pick up some band? Because uh, with these two pieces of information, I think, I could be wrong, that uh, the price could go up. Now, what is happening right now? Uh, yeah, a little bit of, a, of, a, of, a, of an upswing, I would say. Now, before you go off all crazy and go, you know what? I got to buy a ton of this stuff. That's not what I'm saying to do. Do not FOMO. That is the worst thing uh, you can absolutely do. And this is not financial advice. It's just something that I see. I will tell you this, though. There is a couple of things you should do before you invest in anything, and that's called do your own research. There's five criteria that we like to talk about. 
And over at danteachescrypto.com, 100% free website, in Module 4 Reviews, the very first one, I invited Ian Bellina on, and he told me exactly the different criteria that he used when he found all those winners back in 2017. Now, some people have a problem with, with Ian because of blah, 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 whatever else, but I will tell you this, this was solid advice, and it went through the five basic things. The first thing is you take a look at what the white paper, make sure there's actually a use case, and with Band, it definitely is. It is an oracle. There's not a single point of failure because blockchain uh, are horrible at talking to each other and they need some type of uh, API that will actually bring all that information from one to the other. So uh, Chainlink already does this very well and uh, Ban has it, their own little spin on it. So sure. Then the second one is the team. If you take a look over at the, the website for Ban Protocol, and you can find that uh, on CoinGecko as well. If you just take, go to CoinGecko, it'll say website, bandprotocol.com. Go to band, scroll down, and just take a look at you know who the actual team is. Here's the three guys. And this is, this is really all I found. And they're they're very smart. I mean, this guy, Stanford, Massachusetts, MIT. Um, this guy, Paul, creator of Crypto Games with 800,000 users. Very smart gentleman, right? But you have to have a team behind you, uh, marketing, auditing, financial, investors, all those things. And uh, I don't really see it too much here, but I'm very being very critical because that's just how I am. But again, when you team with somebody uh, that, you know, with like Google, eBay, IBM and Microsoft, uh, maybe they're doing something right. It sounds to me. Also, financial backing. I couldn't find any, any of that on the website, but I'm sure I just maybe I didn't look enough. And then activity to take a look at the GitHub page to see if it's, first of all, it's open source. And second of all, if they actually have things going on. Again, you can find that at CoinGecko. Just go down to source code, click on GitHub right here, and it'll open up. And yeah, they've they got a lot of activity, actually. This was updated three hours ago, updated three days ago, three days, uh, three days ago. So they're very active in this community so far. And you can take a look at uh, everything over on on Reddit and their Telegram page and everything else. So they look very active. And the last thing is liquidity ratio, the daily trading volume divided by the market cap. So we used Theta and the market cap was 750 million, roughly. The, the daily trading volume was about 98 million and it was about 8%. So he was talking about just aim for around 10%. So if we go over there and take a look at Ban, it's actually very high. Their market cap is 154 million and their trading volume is 86 million. That's crazy. So uh, that also checks out. So if you want to do your own research or you want to take a look, watch that video, go over to danteacherscrypto.com and take a look at that. But that's the five criteria, really. White paper, team, financial backing, activity, and liquidity ratio. Again, not financial advice. Do what you want to do. And if you're looking for uh, Voyager, just go to the exchange and wallet fees. It's in the description of my videos. It looks just like this. And it's the very first one, Voyager wallet app. And then you can sign up. Uh, if you sign up using this link, you don't have to, but if you do, you get $25 for Bitcoin in Bitcoin and $25 to me. So uh, use that as you will. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one later today. Thanks.